Welcome to another Red Raider Baseball Report. I'm Jared Johnson. I'm joined by the Mighty Joe Yeager. Mighty Joe, man, wow. Texas Tech is in the midst of uh, their fourth College World Series appearance in the last six seasons, and boy, it's been a roller coaster, just like uh, you know the season has been, really. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, well, I hope that uh, Tim Tadlock has taken his nitroglycerin pills and he's <laughs> up on his cardio and all that, because, you know, I was looking back in this entire postseason Every single game, except for the Army game to begin with, has been decided by three runs or less. Wow. And all of those, except for one, have been decided by two runs or less. Wow. So, so these are, I mean, there's no breathing room with any of these games. There's nobody getting way out on anybody and being able to coast or anything like that. Uh, it's just really a, a, you know, a pitched battle uh, where you just have to gut it out and try to make the plays down there at the end. And obviously they did that in a big way against Arkansas. Yeah, they dropped the first game to Michigan, the opener, uh, you know, the two-run game. They, they they dropped, but they bounced back with a with a big win, five to four win over Arkansas on Monday uh, to stay alive in the tournament. Um, to me, the difference really, I mean, there was a lot of things going on, a lot of big plays, but really the difference was, and you pointed out in your Jaeger shots, you know, Michael Dallas struggled uh, starting pitching. That was the difference. Uh, Michael Dallas has been just amazing his this freshman year. He was seven and zero going in to the game against Michigan, but he struggled. I don't, I don't think he made it out. Was it the third inning? Third inning yeah. Finally, yeah. So, uh, or, yeah, he didn't make it to the fourth. Right. So that, you know, that's going to be trouble against a quality team, and obviously Michigan's a, a quality team. Uh, but then, look, I mean, against Arkansas, uh, you, Caleb Killian was was really, uh, in a way, heroic. I mean, the stats may not be just as amazing as some other stats around the country, but. Nine strikeouts. He really battled. I thought I, I found his effort inspiring there on the mound, uh, Killians, and I think, obviously, along with timely hitting, that was the key uh, the game. Yeah, you know, and he, he gave you seven innings, right? Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I mean, if you can do that with Tex bullpen, then you right. got a real shot. I mean, that's that's the key. It's like. The starting pitching, every inning that they give you is a little golden nugget, right. you know, and you get enough of those golden nuggets, then uh, you can make a ring out of it. So uh, that's what Killian did, and uh, that's what Bryce Bonin is going to need to do uh, in this next game against Florida State. Yeah, that brings us to the next game. Florida State uh, lost to Michigan, so Texas Tech and Florida State are playing 6 p.m. Central Time on Wednesday there in Omaha in another elimination game for the Red Raiders. Uh, other than obviously Bonin having a good game as the starter for Texas Tech, what's going to be the key? Oh, well, you know, base running, I think, right. is huge, uh, particularly in this sort of an environment uh, where now, I mean, Tech jerked a few out of the park. Uh, in his last game, yeah, three. Yeah, so, uh, but you're, I don't think you can rely on that yeah. all the time in a, in a big park like this. So that just magnifies how important it is. Is once you get guys on base, uh, that those guys uh, execute once they're there. No pickoffs. Uh, you know, if you pick up a few steals here and there, uh, get your speedy guys on. Uh, that, that really helps. Boy, it'd be nice if Gabe Holt could make it back. I suppose it's probably just about impossible, but you know, yeah. we could dream, right? Uh, that would help as well. But uh, I think base running is gonna really be a, an important thing. It'll probably be most of these games uh, in the College World Series, I think all of them really been pretty low scoring. I think yeah. that 5-4 game yesterday was the highest point total. So, you know, when you're in these low scoring games, um, you gotta try to manufacture runs any way you can. And we we'll give a shout out to a couple of guys, a couple of bats in the lineup. Uh, Josh Young hit another home run. He had two in the game three, uh, you know, championship of the Super Regional against Oklahoma State. Uh, came up with another big one on Monday. Cam Warren had a big two-run homer, but then and then scored the game-winning run on Cody Masters' uh, RBI triple, which proved to be the difference in the in the bottom of the eighth. So Tech got some timely hitting. They're going to need that against Florida State, along with pitching. And like you said. Base running has been one of those things like this has been such a good program that's done so many things, played baseball the right way, like Tim Tadlock likes to say. Uh, but base running has been kind of an Achilles heel throughout the years where they've had some critical uh, breakdowns uh, in big time games in the postseason, which has cost them. And it's cost them the College World Series. So if they can uh, do a good job, like you said, Mighty Joe, uh, on the base pass against Florida State, that will go a long way towards them advancing to a national semifinal, which would be amazing, the deepest run in Texas Tech baseball history it would be. So, a lot on the line on, on Wednesday against, against Florida State. But Mighty Joe, great stuff from you as always. Thank you all for watching and until next time.